welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna talk about the organic and cruelty free um, cosmetic brands um, so I will be using all the products from the beauty collective uh, which is um, on e-commerce from Switzerland and I'll be using uh, different brands so let's check it out together and I'm gonna create um, let's say a day look which is usually really easy so you can do like with the, your fingers instead of using the brush and uh, let's go through together and I will show you how to do it so I already hydrated and prepared my skin for the makeup um, what I'm gonna use first I'm gonna apply coffee bean from 100% pure this is uh, uh, for the dark circles and the puffiness under the eye it's on a uh, coffee bean and it has uh, base the caffeine so I'm just gonna apply it here under the eye a little bit so it creates really smooth texture feels really well actually it smooths really well and absorbs leaving me really hydrated remember if you um, if you massage your eyes in this direction just for like two three minutes like this your puffiness which is actually the uh, the water retention uh, it will basically smooth and will go away so it's important not to press too much under the eye but just to get softly and massage it on the outer directions so the next I'm gonna go with the creamy concealer this one is from Air Paris it's like this and this is Annika concealer latte so I'm just gonna go where I actually need it I don't I, I will not use the foundation today so I will just go really um, oh, I will just go slightly to cover my imperfections so under the eye obviously and this concealer it's really creamy and at the same time um, it leaves a really nice texture it's really pigmented so you don't need to put that much as you can see the difference from this and this side um, I usually you know don't use that much of foundation because I really like to see the texture of my skin so I can say this one it's pretty much nice And really covers really well actually so I have done my base uh, I also wanted to tell you that this brand has uh, oatmeal foundation I've been using this it's really nice and it's really smooth so you can see here the texture it's really really nice and it's covering really well and it's kind of moisturizer but at the same time covers really well so I'm done now the base I'm gonna go with my brows and this is a uh, Natura Glaze so this is the brow pen uh, this pen it's um, refillable so basically here oh sorry it's not this one I guess let me see uh, yeah, it should be this. Oh, no, maybe no. Sorry, this is for the eye. Um, but there's, yeah, it's here. So, this is for the brow. Yeah, this one. And this one, this side has the brush, and the other side has the pencil. So, once you finished, basically you replace the new one, and you don't need the cap here. So, you can just close and open. Okay. So now I'm gonna go to fill my brows 
where do I miss actually so a long time ago I had a microblading on my brows but Actually, this pen um, designs really, really well, and I also been using this time ago. And it stays, it really stays really well actually during the day. So I'm gonna with another side. So the next step, I'm gonna go with aloe gel uh, for the brows. So I'm just going to use it over. This one, it's always in my kit and I love it so much because it fits really well the brows and stays the whole day. Okay, so next I'm going to use uh, Ilia. Uh, this brand, it's really, really nice. This is the eye base, so it's kind of, kind of shimmery a little bit. So I'm just going to go over my lid and blend it with my fingers. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to go with Rowan. It's, um, it's a really nice shadows. They're really creamy and soft. And uh, they, uh, they're really bright once you have it on the eyes, like uh, really shimmery texture so I'm gonna apply it with um, a brush um, honestly no I'm gonna apply this color here all over my lid with my fingers okay so I'm just gonna go in the middle mostly I just blend it a little bit outer corners yeah I'm gonna apply it a little bit more so now that I have applied the what color is this oh there is no name okay it's basically the violet this one uh, I'm gonna go with the black on the outer corners and I'm gonna use a brush so I'm just gonna blend gonna blend towards out corners just to give a little smoky eye like this and now I'm gonna blend it a little bit with my fingers this actually this shadow here it's really nice because you can really use it with the fingers like it's not gonna mark bad as you see so like if you want to blend it more, you just go with a clean brush and you just blend out the corners like this. It depends how, how much the, you want the color to be on the corner. It can be also really black or you just can uh, just blend it so you basically see it, don't see the blend. Keep your eyes open if you have the skin uh, like hooded eyes so so you can basically uh, like this you can create a nice shape and then open to blend okay, for the inside of the corners of the eye I'm gonna apply the light one so I'm just gonna go inside and blend. And I would add a little bit in the center of the eye, just to pop up. So as I knew, this kind of texture, it's not gonna fall down under the eye, you know, that it's gonna, 
third my under eye um, I, I already knew it so as you can see uh, there is no texture or uh, texture shadow under my eye so I'm gonna go with uh, always Natura Glaze in this case it's um it's a black pencil so we have the sponge on the other side also this one it's refillable once you finish you can always go and refill with a new one so I'm just gonna go on top on my eye um, roots to give the finishing of the eye to the eyes go together with the upper side so I'm just gonna blend outside with the brush that I used before Okay, so now I'm going to curl my lashes really quickly and I'm going to go with the mascara. Here we go. So I'm going to use Ilia mascara and this mascara it got really famous because of the brush because it separates your, it gives you the fullness of the look of the lashes but at the same time it separates the eyelash really well so the, the lash line I just love how it opens the eye if I don't put the mascara under my eyes it just seems like the eye is not finished for me and actually if you put it a lot it opens up really well your eye okay so now if you want you can clean the eye area just a little bit under your eyes So I'm not going to put any powder because I don't need it and it's going to stay well with this kind of texture because the texture it's creamy but it dries so and it gives really nice definition. I'm going to go with Air Paris. This is a rice powder blush. It's a bronzer and it's named, um, it's called Roma. So I'm just going to go a little bit to mix these two color shades and I'm just going to go over my, on my face. So this powder, you have to build, build it up so it marks but I like the product when it's re, uh, buildable because it gives you really natural and soft definition so if you want you can go on a little bit darker um, no, just kidding if you want darker you just use the dark part and you just go the part of the contour with the pointy part of the brush and at the end if you want to give a little of um, like soft blush uh, by the pinky this is the Bondi the same uh, the same brand it's Air Paris you just go over like this on the center and just blend it a little bit down it gives more like blushy natural feeling 
and with a bigger brush, I'm blending it. Okay, so I'm done with the eyes right now, and um, I just need to add a little color on my lips, and I use a little bit of Keja Wise. This is Sea Rain, and the packaging it's really beautiful and uh, it's refillable as well so you just change the color and use and it's like this so I just tap it a little bit in the center and I blend it with my fingers I like this color because it's really natural color and um, but at the same time it gives you a little softness to the lips. So this is my finished look and um, I feel really soft and nice with this product. I, I don't know, it's like feel like the texture. I like really like the texture how how it feels on my skin. So um, these are the products that I use today. Uh, it's Rowan, Casual Vice, Natura Glacé, Ilia, Air Paris. Really nice texture and um, I have to really say that I feel really well on them and um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh, go look for the products that I use because uh, are really nice pigmentations and I'll see you on my next one.